first of all the attitude of the politicians the attitude of the country for example let's take i'm from india we we declared officially that we are not going to fight with anyone else if somebody come to fights with us then only we will start fighting we have atomic bombs but we never throw on any country if somebody throws on us then we will protect ourselves we know how to protect ourselves that is our motto means there is no other country that is feeling threat of india because we don't have that uh, that kind of thinking next to us our neighbor is there some china but its attitude is quite different it's not stating like that so next our neighbor country pakistan it's always ready to throw its atomic bombs on india <laughs> so it's depending on their way of thinking it totally depends if they want peace they won't say like that um i feel like the media has a lot to do with feeling secure i mean when everybody's panicking like when the media is panicking then the people are going to panic because it's like these are the people who are giving us our news and they're freaking out why shouldn't we freak out and when our leaders are freaking out it's just one big group freak out <laughs> so i definitely think the feeling of security comes from the people who are in charge or who are on tv because we tend to believe most of what we hear on tv i i think it it lands on two things that make a country secure uh one the 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 level of politics that's being preached to the to the the society that the government is like uh funneling this information to and the other uh fact that makes a country secure unfortunately is the the military when your military is incredibly strong you have an overwhelming sense of security and safety when you don't have a strong military you 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 you'll grab sticks and stones to try to protect yourself because you feel insecure to be secure probably like um um like military power or something like that but at the same time uh to be secure you need to have like a strong di diplomatic um government i think that's a complicated question because all right my i'm from bosnia so my mother always tells me like even though there was a war there before the war she said she was 100% content with the way the government was running and everybody was happy and they weren't a democracy over there and i think in america we're considered to have one of the best governments definitely and we're supposed to be the most stable but i think it's just people believing in their leader and just letting him do what they think he has to do and letting him do that opinion like letting him make the make the decisions without judging him on every single thing he does and that's why there's so many conflicts because everybody always wants to rebel and change it. Well, I think it's uh, a content population and um a government selected by the people most of the time. <laughs> But if yeah, you can have dictators and a uh, contentful people and that will still be stable. Like I don't really I don't think necessarily think like democracy is like the only possible like government, right? Like it just happens to be that like a lot of people like it. So like everyone has it, but I think if like for example like like a monarchy works for like Britain so like if there's like, some sort of monarchy anywhere else like whatever works to get a country's government like good and all the people are happy then there's not going to be any issues you know like everything else seems to just work out as long as like the government's pretty stable so obviously um education I think would be maybe foremost if if the population is educated uh hopefully they're able to find ways to develop economically and peacefully and uh I would say if uh, if you have an educated populace then the chances of having a stable population would be greater than not makes a country secure um that people have the feeling that they are home somewhere that they have like a family a uh, safe surroundings Uh, a home a house people who care for them i think that's the most important thing when you talk about being safety or being safe well bo uh, borders for instance and and an army um um st yeah st political stability economic stability uh, 
a democratic uh, government, all these things. Yeah. The ability to exist w around its fellow countries without threatening them or being threatened is secure, I think. Well, secure is some sort of uh, an illusion, isn't it, after all? Uh, it's an illusion. Like, we're walking here, we feel safe, but are we really safe? Like, if you, you just have to stop thinking about it or, like, uh, get the feeling of it. So, yeah, I would say, like, uh, being secure is just a state of a mind.